Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy to use multi-stage component for landing gear. Let's get started. All right, so I had a comment on the old landing gear tutorial, which was for the super duper easy landing gear by Jacob Kubo. Uh, this one is a super duper, I hope super duper, easy to use multi-stage landing gear component. And I made this so it might not work. No, it works. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, we'll find out. But what I want to do is make it super easy for you to use and allow you to do something like this, where the landing gear will go up and then it will fold in and then the bay doors will close and you can do that um, with any kind of timing you want make it longer make it shorter depending on how long it takes your gear to get up and in so this component will allow you to do that so i'm going to go ahead and walk you through just using it um, and what the features are all right so we're in the editor and we have a nice mock-up of an engine with some landing gear and some landing gear bay doors and then over here we have some monitors that we can use to debug and right here we have an instrument panel and then we have a full-size indicator light and a full-size button and we can use either one of these we're going to use the mini panel for this demo but you can use either one and it will still function all right so down here we have some lights and we're going to use those for our boolean events to show you that you can fire off the booleans as well as number events so for pivots you'll use numbers and for items like uh you can't see it right here but for items like this rail here we'll use a boolean to fire off all right so let's go ahead and get the chip ready to go by setting it up over here and the first thing we're going to do is go into composite mode and we're going to grab the output from the chip and put it into the mini panel then we're going to grab the input from the chip and put it into the mini panel again i guess we could have done it the other way around but you get the idea all right so now let's make sure everything is hooked up here with electricity looks like we have all our electricity hooked up and let's make sure right there good good and we have our power on yes and our power on all right so we should be able to see everything all right Next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and go into video mode and use the output from the chip to these monitors. And these are just used to show the count so you can kind of set up your events easier. And there's also a debug where you can see the events firing off. But that is about it. All right, next up, we're going to go and see what we have here with the data. So for the data, we have four booleans and we have four numbers. And we can connect these to pivots and sliders. And of course, we can connect it to rails. So in this case, we're going to go and click the channel one and we're going to connect it to the slider. That's the first thing we want to happen when we fire off the landing gear. We want the slider, if I can show you by going over here, we want the landing gear to move up and the slider is going to move up into the body here. And then the second thing we're going to do is hook up the pivot so that we can pivot the landing gear in. And there is the pivot. All right, now we have one problem. We need to unlock this landing gear. So we're gonna grab channel one and we're gonna connect it to the rail and that's gonna release it when the first event fires, which is a slider. So it's going to slide up and release that rail. All right, third thing, we want to close our bay doors. We're gonna connect them to both sides. And that is it. We have one more left and we can do anything we want with these three booleans and this last channel, but we don't need them. So we're just gonna ignore them. All right, so what else do we have to do? Well, we need to know what channel that mini panel is going to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the chip. And the first thing you're gonna see is a mini panel button channel. So it's set to five and the gear status is set to 10. This is the light that's gonna light up when the gear is either all the way open or all the way closed. In this case, the gear status light is set to open. So when the landing gear is open or down, it's going to be on. We could go ahead and click this, and then it would only come on when the landing gear was up. But I think it's probably a good idea to let you know when the landing gear is down, so we're going to leave that to open. All right, so let's go ahead and come over here to the mini panel and make sure we're on the right channels. All right, clicking on it. Here is the flip switch, and we're going to set this to... And then the next thing we're going to do is set the number four, which is a gear status, to 10. Okay, and that is it. It's worth noting that I am using one to four on this chip. So if you look here, we can select from number five all the way to 32 on these channels. And that's for both of these. 
Let's set that back to 10 and we're good to go. All right, so now that we have that set up, we're gonna go ahead and set up our sequence of events. The first thing you're gonna see is the close total time. This is the amount of time it's gonna take for it to run through the events. And we can set our events in between one and 10 right now. If we were to set this to 20, we could set up our events between one and 20 on the seconds. So I'm gonna set this back to 10 because 10 is pretty good for this landing gear. And we're gonna go through the first one. So gear stage one close. At one second, we're gonna go ahead and set the slider to a minus one, and that's gonna move it up into the body. On gear stage two, at three seconds, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the next thing, which is going to be a minus one for this pivot, which is going to pivot into the body. And at gear stage three, at five seconds, the pivots are gonna be set to one, which is going to pivot them inwards on both sides. And that will be it. Number four will fire, well, it will fire at seven seconds, but we could set this to 10. And what that's gonna do is set that Boolean down here. Did we hook these up? Let me see. No, we didn't. Let's hook those up so we can see. All right, so I'm gonna hook these up really quick. So channel one, oops, channel two, channel one, channel three, and channel four. And that's just gonna let us see when these events are firing off, but we could use these for other things. All right, so now that we have those set up, we can go ahead and see what happens. Did we set up the video? Let's make sure, yep, it's all hooked up here, good. All right, let's spawn. All right, so we have a zero here, which means nothing is happening. And when I flip the landing gear switch, it's gonna start counting up and then the events are gonna occur as we set them up. We also see that the landing gear light is on. So the landing gear is down, as we can see, and everything is good. All right, so let's flip the switch. All right, starting to count, one, two, three, four. And as it goes, it starts doing all the events until the landing gear is up. And you'll see the lights are coming on here and that at 10 seconds is done. All right, so now it's time to get the landing gear back out. Let's, we're gonna click on the chip and I'm gonna run you through what we did. So on the first part, we have 10 seconds to do our events. Gear stage one at one second is going to slide the slider up and the Boolean is going to release the rail. Stage two at three seconds, we're gonna go ahead and minus one on that pivot so that it moves into the body. And at stage three, at five seconds, the pivots on the outside are gonna be set to one and they're going to close. Stage four is not really being used, but at 10 seconds, it will turn on this Boolean light right here. All right, so next up, what do we have? We have the same thing, a open total time of 10 seconds, which means it's gonna take 10 seconds that we can work with. We can set this higher if we want, but for 10 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and use these events to bring the gear back down. All right, so stage four again, we're not using it. So the first second, we're gonna just set that to on. So this one is going to turn on the Boolean and we're setting it to zero, which is not doing anything because it's not hooked to anything. And then stage three, which is our pivots out here are starting at seven seconds. That's too long. It, that means it would fire after everything else has been happening. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to three seconds. And then it is going to set to zero, which means these pivots are going to open and then if we go to stage two, we want this wheel to pivot downward. So at five seconds, we're gonna go ahead and move that wheel back down and that is set to zero. And then at stage one, we want the slider to come back down and we want this thing to be locked back onto the rail. So we're gonna set this at 10 seconds. So this is gonna be the last event to occur and it's gonna be set to one and everything is going to be lovely. All right, let's try it. All right, so first off, the light is on, the landing gear's down. We're going to put the landing gear up and we're gonna watch it go up. It's counting and you see the lights are going on and the landing gear is up. All right, we're done. Oh, 10 seconds, there it went. All right, so now in reverse order, we're going to see this light go off. Then we're going to see the bay doors open. It will pivot down and then finally the slider will come down and lock and all these lights should go off in pretty much order. And then this light of course will go on. All right, here we go. Okay, there's the first light, bay doors open, gear comes down, slider comes down and lights are all off. All right, cool, that's it, we did it. So I have one more feature that might be of interest to you. If we go into the chip and scroll all the way down 
we have an invert stage boolean. So sometimes you may want these to do something different. I don't know, maybe it you want it to not lock and you want it to unlock. I don't know what the case may be. But what you can do is you can flip these. So we're going to leave number one alone because we do need to unlock that, that rail. But we can switch these off like that. And so when we spawn now, the booleans are going to be on except for the first one, which is our slider rail. And so if we run through this whole thing again, Langer goes up, light comes on because it just released a boolean, and now all of these are gonna start shutting down because it's up, and then 10 seconds. And then of course, in reverse order, we're going to turn this light on, turn this light on, turn this light on, and then lock the rail. Ta-da! That's it. Ah, I think I have one more feature to show you, which was at the bottom as well. And this is just a debug. And what you can see here, is if you have some kind of trouble, you can't see what events are firing for some reason, you can just see that event one, event two, and event three, and event four are true. And then as it goes through, you'll watch it come down to true, event true, event true, and then the final one, true, at 10 seconds. There we go. All right, so anyways, that might be helpful for somebody if you want to just kind of see when, when they're firing, if something's not moving or something. I don't know, might be useful. All right, so let's go ahead and pretend like there is a plane here and we want to hook up all this landing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this landing gear. All right, so we're going to go ahead and copy this engine and we're going to move it over here and click U. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's paste it right there and let's connect it. And then I think we're going to need to connect the battery. Yes, we are. Connect that. What else do we need? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and hook up all the stages again. Channel 1 to the slider. Channel 1 to the rail. Channel 2 to the pivot. Channel 3 to the bay doors. All right, cool. And now I think what we need to do is go ahead and make our front landing gear. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pretend like we have a cool plane here. This is not a very cool plane, but we're going to pretend like we have a cool plane here. We're just going to add the front tricycle wheels right here. Uh, let's just grab this one here. Put it under there. All right, so what I'm trying to show you just for the sake of making this a complete demo that you can hook one of these controls up and control three wheels pretty well. Um, if you need to use another of these, you could. And so you would hook the same channels to the same buttons and then you would go ahead and use two controllers for separate wheels. But I'm just gonna show you how to do one and make it work for our little tricycle plane here. All right. All right, that is it. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Well, we want to check to see if these arrows are proper. What we're going to do is grab this one for the pivot, which is channel two, so that this goes up at the same time. And we may have to flip them because we're using the same controller, so we can't flip the numbers here. So we're going to go ahead and flip the pivots if we have to. All right, looking good. Add electricity for good measure. All right. So I didn't check these, but let's just check them right now to see what happens. Flip the switch. Oh. Okay, well, that one's backwards. And those are backwards, too. All right, so everything's backwards. <laughs> oh, great demo. All right, <laughs> let's get in there and flip those really quick. It'll be a quick little fix here. Grab it. Hit you. And paste it. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and connect everything up again. Actually, this wasn't connected the first time, but you get the idea. Then we're going to go ahead and grab this little guy here. Cut it. Hit you. Paste it. And connect everything up again. I think that did it. Let's close these up. Wheels go up in the back. That one goes up. And we close it. That is it. We did it. 
we made multi-stage landing gear and it wasn't that hard. Well, I don't think it was that hard. Um, but if it was, let me know in the comments below uh, how can I improve this to make it easier for you. I think I included all the features that make it pretty easy to get a multi-stage landing gear up and running with a relatively short time, but let me know. All right, well, that's it for today. Hopefully this component is useful. You can go ahead and download in the description below, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload this test bed so you can play with it as well. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, it's time to say, if you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And I will see you, I will see you, I will see you next time. Bye.